guys, we've got a brand new line of Five Nights at Freddy's Visual Guide Collector books, and each one is loaded full of pictures, information, and everything you want to know about these characters from these awesome toy lines. Hit the links in the description to purchase yours today. All right, Batman fans, ooh, look at this! Oh, we've got some new Batman figures from the 1966 collection by McFarlane Toys. Now, I can't wait to dig into these because these are more cartoony. Yeah! All right, guys, so we've got the new adventures of Batman figures. We got the first set, courtesy of McFarlane Toys, so thanks for that. And it looks like they're going in a more cartoony route. Because as you can see here, let's see, there is the old Batman that's based on the... Uh, Adam West Batman, <laughs> which looks just like him. And this one is, uh, well, it doesn't really look like it. He looks more like a uh, cartoon version if it came out in the 1960s. So that's pretty cool. And I think they're doing that because I think they exhausted the uh, roster of characters that can, they could make in the character's likeness. And, uh, yeah, so they got to resort to uh, these guys right here. Which is awesome because now we finally get a commissioner! Oh, yeah! Oh, I'm so excited about the commission. And he also comes in Batman. <laughs> <laughs> as he would look like in the 1960s. Cool, all right, we'll get to that in a little bit, but here's the entire set of six that you can collect, and we'll start off with Batman, of course, because he's the main character. You gotta start off with Batman. <laughs> you. Right, out of the package, there, da, da, there he is. Oh, Batman, oh, he looks cool. So look at this, we got the cowl, <laughs> which is a light blue, that's pretty cool. And then a gray outfit, nice. Oh, I just love it, pretty dapper, if you ask me. He's got the utility belt. <laughs> he looks just like the 1960s Batman that was in the comic books, colors and odd. I just love that. Throw back to the original, and as you can see, yeah, it's a little bit different from the uh, Adam West Batman here, where it's a little bit darker than the one that showed up in the uh, series in the 1960s. So yeah, we get a uh, different take on the Batman. Pretty cool in the uh, cartoon style. Oh, I love it. <laughs> And then, of course, well, we got to get out his uh, boy wonder here, old Robin, which uh, we'll compare with the old one as well. Uh, check this guy out. Oh, man, that's so cool. <laughs> yeah, so there he is. <laughs> the boy wonder looking all so cool. Look at that. And uh, so here is the old one, which is based off Burt Ward. <laughs> you can see they used a different color scheme for that, just to make it a little bit different. Yeah, cool, for collecting purposes, I'm sure. All right, so there is his short cape. And then we get the uh, the dark greens and the reds and even the symbol. Look at that, even the symbol color is different. Oh, nice. <laughs> but so, as you can see, the face resembles him, but doesn't resemble Burt Ward. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> probably because they don't want to pay him. <laughs> yeah, they don't want to pay these guys for the next wave. Oh, man, cool. So, uh... Yeah, there they are. They look great. And of course, in the past, we've gotten all oh, that cool Batmobile that McFarlane Toys has released. Uh, I think they released this back when they released Wave 1 originally, a couple years ago. Double Bow! Double Bow! Yeah, check it out! It's the new Batmans in the Batmobile! Batman! <laughs> yeah, that is so cool! Of course, they race off to fight evil. And of course, to do that, we're going to need the Commissioner Gordon. Oh, I can't wait to open this because oh, I wanted a Commissioner Gordon so bad. Oh, so cool. So, yeah, we still need a commission. We still need an Alfred, which I hope they uh, deliver soon. Ugh, it's weird because in the past, we've got an Alfred in Batman suit, but not just a regular Alfred. So, yeah, here's one of the characters that I can't wait to add to the collection. And here he is, the Commissioner. Look at this. He's like, Batman, I need your help. Oh, yes, Commissioner. Oh, what can I do to help you? And he's like, oh, man, we got all kinds of villains running around. We got the Joker and the Riddler and all those characters are coming to destroy everything. <laughs> Look at his outfit, man. He's dressed for success because he's the Commish. So cool. He's like, yes, Commissioner. Oh, yeah, let's do this. Yeah, now we just need a pompous mayor to come in and be like, Hey, what is this What is this guy in a cape trying to do to me? Oh, uh, this fair city. Oh, I'm here to help you, mayor. <laughs> I mean, look at that. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, man, that's nuts. But, uh, yeah, the other cool character we get in this set is the Bat Knight. <laughs> look at Bat Knight. Oh, I just love this. He's that little trickster guy. I think he's showing up in the cartoons, not in the... Uh, the Batman show, of course, the live action one, but yeah, look at that. I think he's based off the cartoon version. And that's so cool. Oh, I love it, little Batman. Hey, yeah, look at me. <laughs> Doing all kinds of crazy tricks. 
<laughs> That's awesome. So just know if you get this Commissioner Gordon, well, you get a twofer. Oh, look at that, both characters in one little set. Nice! All right, now it's time to get to the rogues gallery in the Batman universe. And first up, we've got Joker. Oh, so cool. He looks... Uh, and out of the package. Oh, he looks pretty cool. So yeah, he looks more like the uh, cartoon version of Joker. Look at that. <laughs> Rather than the live action Joker played by Cesar Romero. <laughs> look at that. So yeah, pretty cool. Looked like they... Uh, they gave him an updated look for this this uh, series, and yeah, it looks pretty cool. I gotta say. So yeah, he looks like a uh, a merger of both characters combined into this guy right here, and he comes with an old paper as well. It says Gas War. And then on the inside, it's like, hey, let's see what's going on with all the crime in the city. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, so here is another character that they. The revamped, look at this, we've got Riddler going on here with the uh, pink outfit. <laughs> I'm not sure why it's pink, but uh, oh, let's open it anyway. Ugh. And I, yeah, I don't ever remember seeing the Riddler in a pink outfit, so I'm not sure what this is based off, cartoon or comic book or something, I'm not sure. Because in the uh, live action version, yeah, that's what the Riddler look like, and that's off. This one, new one, is a far departure of that. In fact, I think it's the same color pink as uh, <laughs> this one right here. Hey, I dig the color. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. So there is Riddler in his new outfit. Riddler came as well. Gotta like that. Which uh, I don't think even this Riddler came with. Oh, man, I'm nuts. <laughs> Give me that. No, that's mine. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah. All right, so last but certainly not least, we have the Batgirl. And it's kind of cool because we actually have two versions of Batgirl. Look at this. This is the rare of the two. This is the uh, the Platinum Edition, which is in her black and yellow outfit. And it's uh, closer to the comic book cartoon. Yeah, pretty neat there. And as you can see, yep, it looks just like the cartoon. Yeah, look at that. Oh, man, cool. What a cool Batgirl to give us in this set. And then here is the regular one. That looks more like the live action counterpart. Not exactly. But, uh, yeah, a little closer than uh, this one, of course. Of course, cool. so let's open her up and see what old Barbara Gordon's up to in this variation. And uh, out of the package, there she is looking all cool. Oh, look at the outfit. <laughs> yeah, I like it. So, yeah, she looks pretty cool. I like the, uh, the hat, the mask, and all that good stuff. She looks great. And as you know, she is the daughter of the Commissioner Gordon here. So it's like, hey, bad girl, and uh, she's like, oh, you, she doesn't, he doesn't know that I'm his daughter, so uh, I gotta go. <laughs> hey, where'd she go? Every time I come around, uh, she disappears. If you've seen any other review of these guys, well, they review all this stuff, but they don't review this one right here. That's because they're not as cool as Puppet Steve. Because <laughs> McFarland Toys, I guess, sent this to Puppet Steve here, and not the other guys. So uh, I guess it's our obligation to open this up and check them out. Yeah, nice. All right. So, yeah, this is the one cool thing about Puppet Steve Show. And that's I'm cooler than all you other guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not conceited or anything. <laughs> I just love doing these toy reviews. Nice. So, yeah, there she is. Look at all cool. I love how her outfit is just so uh, flashy at the same time. Oh, so cool. I love the uh, dark colors on this one. And, yeah, it definitely looks like the uh, cartoon version from the 90s. Look at that. All the way around, that looks awesome. Oh man, I just don't know which one I like better. <laughs> the live action one or the uh, new one? That's based off the character. Oh man, that's so cool. So there are all three that they've released so far in this McFarlane line. If you want to check them out, you know, there they are, all in a row. Then ba bam you can display your entire figure set in style. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Look at them. Friends, foes of a cool old cartoon series. Oh, I just love it. Now, if you want any of these for your very own, make sure you check out Targets and Walmarts and Amazons and all those good places to get the new set today.